Hi, thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Um, today, I was going to go ahead and do a quick show on uh, Tino to add to the lighting series. Like I said, I was going to try to go in the lighting series through all the parameters I can possibly think of that you need to know about for aquarium lighting and, of course, the bulb types and, you know, types of lights. Um, Alright, and... I think I did one already. I think I did like incandescent or something, and I mentioned like the uh, little self ballasting compact fluorescence or something. All right. Anyways, today I'm gonna go ahead and do T12s. All right. Now T12s um, are gonna be pretty cheap, and you probably won't find them as much anymore. Uh, they were mostly used, uh, you know, uh, like if you remember, you know, your standard Aquion hoods and stuff that come with the linear one two strip um they had oh uh, they used to use t12s now they use t8s see this is actually one right here right here a really old aquion strip but anyways that that's a t12 um uh t12s used to be kind of uh, uh i don't know if you want to say the best because it was metal halide but besides that that was probably your best option um Today, pretty much the only reason they're used is because they're cheap. Um, they don't have very good efficiency. Like, I believe they get around 30 to 50 lumens per watt on average. And just for instance, a T5 is going to get somewhere around 60 to 80 lumens per watt. All right, depending, you know, ball of all, depending on a whole bunch of stuff. So, um. You, you know, the T5 is almost tw all over like twice as, uh, what's it called, uh, as efficient at producing light as these. Um, but not only that, um, you know, there's also, uh, you know, some other things that have to go in the lighting spectrum of, you know, like kind of useful life at par light T5s put out in comparison to it and et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, anyways, t t you can, uh, T12s, they use the same pin arrangement as a T8, which is what you'll find in your standard Aquion hoods nowadays. Um, the T8s, they're uh, slightly more efficient than the T12s, but not by much. They don't really put out too much more. But there are T12 high output bulbs. Now, I haven't seen any T8 high outputs, but they make T12 high outputs. Like, here's an old one um, that I never got to use for an old tank. Uh, this one's obviously for a marine tank, but as you can see, we'll use this as an example T12 bulb just to let you look at here too. Um, as you can see, it's very quite wide and big compared to probably what you're used to. This is a 24 inch. Um, this one's a high output. See, this one's 65 watts, and this one is this one right here is just a 20 watt. So. Um, but anyways, yeah, they, they make uh, they make all sorts of different T12s because, like I said, these used to be the only things around besides metal halides, and you maybe had, like, I, I, f I forgot when Power Compacts came out, but, I mean, other than that, that was your only options. Um, you know, just to go to a high-output T12 bulb like this and put a bunch of fixtures on the, <laughs> on the aquarium, but... Uh, yeah, so that's that, and then, oh, you know what, before I even demonstrate this, uh, j just to show you what it looks like real quick, I wanted to mention, I noticed on these standard Aquion hoods, because I was going to use this, I was using, I wanted to just use this instead of a, uh, a, a regular T8, because I haven't been able to find any T8 high outputs, I don't really care though anymore, anyways, but anyways, um, I've noticed if you look at these standard Aquion hoods, you know, the T8s and T12s, I don't know if they ever made T12s with a ballast system, but I've noticed that, like, if you look on the newer ones, they don't have this starter. It might be on the inside of it, but I think they have, like, some kind of ballast system. And that, if you have one of those that use that, you can use these high output. But if you have one of these starters, it won't let you use this high output. Like, let me show you. This is the regular bulb that's in here, a regular 20 watt. See, it lights up. As you can see, not very bright. But it does put off enough light if you're just doing like a little cichlid tank or something you know, like that. Alright, this will come out. Why isn't this coming out? 
Oh yeah, I forgot this one's broke. I'm used to dealing with T5s now. <laughs> Brings back memories. I think I screwed it in the right way. Anyways, as you can see, it's just sitting here flickering. It won't actually start. Now, I used to have one of these that had a ballast in here so I can show you that it would start, but I sold it to somebody so I don't have it anymore, but just so you know, if you have an T12 fixture and you're looking to upgrade the bulb, don't go with the very high output ones. As you can see, it won't even start it. And I tried using like a stronger starter. wouldn't even light up the original bulb. I don't know why. So I guess it's just not made to work even though it's got the same fittings. So, All right. Um, so that's a little background on the T12s. You know, they're fair, you know, they're mostly, they were, or were mostly used. Uh, but not not so much anymore. Um, but you can still use them just to power like a regular community or just a cichlid tank or something like that. Um, you won't really be able to grow any plants with them. You might be able to grow some low light ones, um, you know, but not too many of them. Not in high concentrations or anything. And they use your standard. Uh, I think it's like one and a half inch pan. What did I write down? Or that's one and a half inch wide bulb, but yeah, it uses the standard pin connections. It seems uses the same pin connections as like the T10 bulbs you see in like uh, office buildings and stuff. Some of those are actually T12s too, and uh, T8s too. All right, all right. Well, I guess that's about it. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to really say about T12s. All right, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in.